as information explodes, biostatistics will also explode, especially as we get into this era of artificial intelligence. We're going to need more and more biostatisticians, so it's a very exciting field to go into. The University at Buffalo is a great place to come for biostatistics. We are ranked number 22 in the country for biostatistics departments within a school of public health. We have very established faculty. Three of us are fellows of the American Statistical Association. We also have three faculty who are full-time clinical teaching faculty, which is a tremendous strength of our department and the students love them. The professors are wonderful. It's also an opportunity to work um, with all kinds of different fields, especially bio in biology. Um, right now I'm do work, doing work in uh, genetics. They provide me with lots of opportunities to really learn and get experience uh, as I'm getting ready to go out into the workplace. Most of the graduate class in the biostats department is about five to 10 people so that the professor can deliver personalized attention and focus on each student's learning and development. So you have a bunch of research opportunities you can involve in the real life projects that allows me to apply my theoretical knowledge to the practical use. I'm very interested in applying novel statistical models like neural networks, classification trees, random forests, so-called machine learning to biomarkers to try to develop better prognostic models. One really fascinating collaboration that I'd like to highlight is something called the CRISP study, which is the Consortium for Radiological Imaging Studies of Polycystic Kidney Disease. So we've embarked on two decades of research where we collect a number of different biomarkers. And what we try to do is we try to predict who is going to have kidney failure in life and who is going to live without kidney failure. And it's been widely used by the community to make really important discoveries and make changes in patients' health. As a biostatistician, I think uh, what I'm trying to do is to provide better methods for the domain researchers to use in analyzing data, and the medical decision can be made more accurately. The most exciting research projects in recent years I did with my PhD students focus on development of uh, accuracy metrics uh, for classification problems when subclasses are involved, such as in the cancer diagnosis, for example, uh, the lung cancer, non-small cell lung cancer, has three subtypes, and in the Alzheimer's disease, it's all for the purpose of making more accurate classification, so the early stage can be better diagnosis, and the patients can receive the most proper treatment. One of the collaborations that really has saved my research is safety of medical products. In 2009, I served as a scientific advisor to the Office of Biostatistics and Epidemiology in the Center of Biologics Evaluation and Research. And I started working on safety of medical products for identification of adverse events. I still work in that area because it's an area in which not a lot of statisticians are working, yet the problems that are, uh, that are there are intimately connected with our field. The second uh, uh, collaboration that is really UB-based was we studied different ways for healthcare delivery in underserved populations. And the underserved population that we actually looked at was people with opioid use disorder and the uh, use of large language models. Their capabilities and limitations really sparked my interest, and I'm hoping uh, to be able to generate a paper that connects this type of technology with statistics. So these are interesting, exciting to me projects, and I hope exciting projects to the students as well. Our department is going to be relevant and growing for a long time. We are the only PhD in biostatistics granting department in the entire SUNY system, 
and we have connections with the Institute for Artificial Intelligence and Data Science. We are creating a center for biostatistics research collaboration and data coordination. And I am working uh, every day with deans across the health sciences to build embedded offices of statistics and data management, an office of clinical trials development and implementation, and many other research capacity building efforts that will allow us to have key roles in important studies as we move forward.